Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Long time no see. I decided to pop out of the chaos and just come on and kind of chat with you about a few things, you know, what's been going on and uh, some plans and sales that I've seen and things like that. So welcome if you're new. My name is Tori. I make preparedness videos on a budget. So as you can see behind me, the house is painted. It absolutely looks amazing. I think it looks really beautiful with everything that's been going on. So we have that going on. If you're new here, we're moving. So packing up the house uh decluttering severely decluttering like wildfire i am just i shouldn't use wildfire there's some devastating wildfires out in colorado right now but um i'm just trying to get everything done and we're looking to do it pretty quickly so the goal is to be in pennsylvania that's where we're moving um early fall you know maybe even sooner so we'll see about that it is very warm out too we keep clocking in at like 101 and the garden is just depressed i mean i can only water it i'm trying to balance on the piece of wood here i can only water it as much as i am like three times a day and then i have been using a lot of my stocked water not uh, drinkable water but the stocked water that i always tell you about just anytime you have an empty vessel don't know what's going on here uh fill it up you know wash the container out fill it up and then you can use it to flush toilets if you're ever in a power outage or whatever you could use it to boil even and wash clothes but it's besides the point we don't have it anymore i'm gonna try to stop touching my hair you can tell I haven't been on in a while when I get all nervous. But uh, the point of this was I've been using that water to water the garden because in the midst of all of this, we've been having wild power outages and uh, water outages. And then at the same time, our 5G goes out. So I just feel like it's very odd for all of those things to be coincidentally off. Uh, but, you know, we were prepared. Uh, it wasn't anything to write home about. We just cooked what we could and um, used our stock. So. That is what we've been doing, just trying to cycle through everything. We made a pretty big executive decision that we will not be taking our processed food with us, like easy um, meals in, you know, boxes like rice aroni and things like that. So that is my goal today to just get all of that donated. It's like a two year supply to local organizations. I have it all packed up in the car and I'm about to head out, but we're also getting our windshields replaced today because it gets crazy out here in Colorado and you, you replace your windshield like twice a year, I feel like. So we're doing that today. Um, I'm donating clothes today. I signed up on Facebook marketplace to sell some things. I never ever want to do that again. I it's just insane to me every single person that I come across but there are a few sweet ones so that's happening um, and you know the boys just got back I did not really tell the internet that but um, my husband and my son were back in Pennsylvania looking at jobs for my husband uh, and he found a few so he found a few that he enjoyed but uh, I'm gonna be competing with the air conditioner that is is really like the gist of what's going on so a lot of chaos a lot of moving parts and me just trying to take care of the other two kids while packing up the house so i'm very fortunate that i have a friend who has a different brain than me and she is very good at decluttering organizing and just getting things together so that has been really helpful um neighbors have been amazing and i've given up on the yard sales just because we're not really selling that much and i can't be sitting out there all day when there's so much to do in the home so not doing that anymore but i mean we're pretty much done the realtor comes and uh, she'll take photos and we'll go from there the garden is looking beautiful and i've taken what i can from the garden and i'm gonna get you turned around and show you what's going on i have my herbs packed up my medicinals and i did want to let you know before i forget that all of those tinctures and tonics that i make i'm packing up with me they are in vodka so they last a long time i've been getting an influx of questions about these tinctures and how to do this how to do this what about this i am not a, a licensed specialist i'm not a licensed herbalist or doctor so i just i don't feel like i uh, i can give you the proper advice but i'll give you the advice that was given to me and that was don't overcomplicate it it's just an herb and vodka and it shouldn't be scary do your research from your trusted source and i appreciate that i am people's trusted source on this subject but i encourage you to look into she is of the woods she is a great resource or the few books that i have on my amazon store and when it comes to amazon this was the whole point of this sentence um 
Um, I wanted to mention Bach flower essences. So people that aren't comfortable with taking their own tinctures, Bach makes a great product. They are like the OG of tinctures uh, when it comes to manufacturing and putting it out in the market. Um, and I, I enjoy their company. You know, some people have their issues with them, but they have everything you need, all the information, any ailment you may have, and you're seeking a natural remedy, they'll have it on their website. So I'm going to link them, but Amazon's having a good sale on them too. So if you support Amazon, you can shop through the links. Um, I do get a very small commission from Amazon. You don't have to shop through me or you could just support Bach. Um, at their you know website i'm just saying that there's a bigger sale on amazon if you feel me so um yes that is what i wanted to say about that i'm trying not to be scatterbrained i'm just trying to give you an update and then kind of pop on off here just uh so i'm not leaving anybody hanging so again very excited for the next steps and what the future holds. Uh, the next goal is finding um, a job, obviously, for my husband and uh, we do homeschool, so we are starting that new year as well. The great news is our house is in relatively good shape. We took good care of it. We just wanted a fresh coat of paint and some fresh things around the house to spruce it up a bit. We kind of have like a modern, I don't know, southwestern rustic feel to the house. We try and be minimal, but honestly, I feel like I'm moving into a more Scandinavian design where it's more minimal and there's blacks and whites and some wood tones and things like that. So I will show you the house when it eventually gets staged and all that. But right now the goal is to get everything out. And, um, if you follow me on the other channel, I was running into problems with a dumpster and finding one that was, uh, you know, a good price because some of them were quoting $800, $900 for a 60 minute three yard dumpster. And that's obscene to me. I refuse to pay that. So I did find a company. Uh, they just haven't called me back. Uh, they, we just keep playing, uh, you know, uh, phone phone tag. Yeah, phone tag when it comes to trying to rent that. So really, we just need to get some things out of the home. And I feel like that's where my biggest source of stress is. Uh, moving with three children under five is challenging in itself, but like packing up your entire existence for the last 12 years, I mean, and whatever we brought with us here to Colorado has been proving to be a little bit of a challenge. So I think keeping it minimal, keeping it down to the basics of what we need and you know what we truly value is important to us and that leads me to my next subject uh patera was talking about this the other day she was saying prepare 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 for the next you know three months she's saying you don't have 100 days and i i get that we talk about preparedness on the channel a lot i i don't think she is causing any sort of panic i think she's right you know no matter where this like political environment takes us, it, it each side, each side it is gonna be an issue, Who whoever wins. And I feel like, um, you know, there's a lot of us like me who are empathetic, but we're pretty logical and it's just a lot to take on. There's a lot that's happening. So it's hard for a lot of us to process what exactly has happened in the last couple of months and, um, you know, what's to come. So. I just wanted to come on here and just talk about, you know, just, just staying safe out there and familiarizing yourself with uh, defending yourself and being able to be bored. That's a big one. I, I realized, you know, when the power is not on, my kids are great. We don't do screens with them, so they're fine. But I find myself kind of struggling and it's been bothering me. I don't like that. So I've been really trying to reduce my screen time. And again, that's a challenge in itself because uh, I work from a screen, so that's been tough tough to say the least so I challenge you to get out there and try and get your body moving being physically and mentally fit are super important and of course stocking up on those basics a way to cook food any medications you may need any natural remedies you may need water is a huge one we talk about that so much i have all of my water filters linked in my uh, description box i encourage you to pick one up some of them are as low as 20 dollars, and that will do the trick in the event of an emergency any shelf stable food 
I'd stick with cans right now. Honestly, you can get your rice and beans, uh, but I would stick with just easy meals that you can pull out. And I'm not saying this to scare anybody. I don't think there's going to be this wild apocalypse. I, I just think that you should be prepared in the event of a huge inflated price, or maybe you do lose power, or maybe you need to stay in your home for a little bit of time, an extended amount of time. There's just some things that I have been thinking about as a, a mother and a amateur homesteader here that I have done in that uh, dense in my plan you know so I've been really just going back into it and going over with my husband and kids what we will do in different scenarios and that may sound extreme to some of you but I encourage you to talk about it and familiarize your family with you know what is going on and what's to come of course um, we're we're not trying to scare my children and it's never my intention to scare any of you this is just very real what's going on right now and I think it's really important to chat about and start thinking about so I wanted to jump on kind of give you an update give you a garden update and just really come on here to say thank you for the support I've been getting um, some strange comments and all that lately so I'm trying to let it roll off I've really i really just kind of took a turn when it comes to that because i know in my heart what i'm doing is right i'm not a perfect human but uh my message my intention will always be good and positive so i'm okay with what i chat about i'm okay with what you guys comment about and if it's negative I'm okay with that too because people can say and do whatever they want but at the end of the day they have to live with themselves and I just simply can't um, can't live with myself if I know that I'm a negative entity for anybody so anyways I'm going to hop off here get you turned around show you what's going on in the garden and kind of show you around the house here and then uh, we'll go from there so I hope you'll be seeing me soon I'm trying my best to put out content when I can I haven't really been cooking a lot just a lot of quick meals like chicken salads and things like that so I hope you well wherever you are remember to reassess your stocks and think about things that you can pull from quickly think about plans think about ways that you can grab and go if you need to 72 hour emergency kits are important i have a couple of videos on that so i hope you're well wherever you are and i'll catch you on the next one stay adventurous stay creative bye y'all Okay, I'm going to try and keep it brief, but we've moved these chairs here underneath the sunflower and then my zinnias are just looking absolutely beautiful here. Man, the uh, uptick in air travel has been a little freaky lately here. Uh, right here I've cleaned out. We have thistle and echinacea that I need to harvest, but we're going to put a stump on each side and then bring our patio set out here. As you can see, they did an amazing job painting. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. How many times did I say absolutely? You can tell me how annoying I am in the comments. Um, we have a mole in here just kind of hanging out. I'm debating, you know, I'll probably take that out before the new owners get here. I'm, you know, chances are the new owners won't have random knowledge of mullen, but who knows? So I figured I'd do them um, a solid and just rip that root out and burn it. I have some sunflowers here that I'm just holding on to uh, when they come and tell me um, an inspection that I need to take them down. I will, but I really love this area. And then walking through, we have the lilacs again. Things are barely holding on. This heat has been insane, and I really think that, I don't know, I have a lot of thoughts on it, but us gardeners know what's going on. So we have um, some green, some spinach going to seed. I'm letting most go to seed so I can take those seeds. Pineapple, sage, lavender. I have uh, some really great things happening over here because the sunflowers cast that shade. So more pineapple, sage, petunia, Swiss chard we eat every day. So that stays. Peppers going red, so I need to grab those. I have California poppy, valerian, more petunia, um, what else? Wolfsbane over there, and then um, Aconite, and then a rose, some iris, a dead sunny, some more beautiful zinnias. I think they're ready if you hold the stock and shake. Oh, yeah, they're ready to go. Um, if they go flimsy, that means they need a few more days. Uh, more petunias, skull cup, valerian, uh, rosemary, and oregano. I'm letting my purslane come through. I've been eating it uh, every now and then. It's great for high blood pressure if any of you have issues with hypertension. But uh, anyways, uh, bell pepper. We have pickling cucumbers. Amelia loves, she's my youngest, 
tomatoes. She always says, mm, and I think you guys saw that in the last video. So we've just been trying to uh, keep up with her. So we don't have a lot happening up on the top here. And I'm loving that I did nothing with these tomatoes because they've created this shade. So they're not getting too hot. I don't have any disease. I have no blight. And I honestly don't think any blossom end rot's coming unless it doesn't happen with small tomatoes. Uh, I'm, I'm sure though. I, I'm not sure. Anyways, red tomatoes are on the bottom. We'll grab those later because Millie's going to go through them. Wow. Okay. Sorry. My phone overheated. I had to go in for a little bit and get it going. What I was saying is there's sun golds, peppers, lavender, CBD over here, and uh, what else? Honeysuckle, more thistle, random pumpkin. You can kind of see the portulaca purslane over here. Portulaca purslane, whole lot of oregano. I have some basil going to seed, some milkweed for those butterflies. I have yarrow and then over here uh if you follow me on the other channel you kind of can see what i've been doing with like home updates on my own but we cleaned out the chicken area i need to level out the rock and maybe even put just another good set of rock on there honestly though the realtor said it doesn't really matter you know I, if that's a deal breaker for someone buying the home then that's that's what it is uh but anyways we have this happening over here and I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to show you. We have these wild bugs on this tree that drill holes in it. And I really do think that it is the culprit. I have no idea what they are. They're gigantic. It looks like a dragonfly with a very long, what looks like a stinger, but I've read is not. It's a way that they lay their eggs. Uh, and they're really creepy and gigantic. So yeah, that's all I was gonna say. Uh, I think today we can see the mountains, which has been amazing because uh, the wildflower, wild, land smoke has really just canceled that out so i'm praying for anyone who is effective uh, affected i know front range feed and birth has been helping out um if you have any uh wild uh i'm sorry wildlife or anything on your property horses whatnot uh, and you should contact her if you need that just email me and i hope you're doing well so again i've been really just trying to jump on here authentically hope that's okay with everybody i'm getting the gist that the people my true people that are subscribed to me really enjoy that so i'm gonna continue on and uh wish us luck so hope you're well wherever you are bye y'all